As a senior researcher at the Finnish Institute for Health and Welfare, I co-coordinated the Polku research project together with a multidisciplinary team at the University of Helsinki, University of Tampere and University of Stockholm. Polku was a small-scale government-funded project requiring the research team to find solutions to the problems of how to achieve more effective integration of social security benefits and services for the working age unemployed population. The funders did not impose the research um, design and methods, but we knew that they were looking for findings that would be evidence-based and would inform policy making. We decided to investigate uh, possible solutions for dismantling barriers to employment using a comparative international uh, research design across five European countries. In planning the design and methods, we had to consider three main issues. Um, the requirements of the funder, the scale of the project, and the existing skills and resources of our research team. The requirements of the funder, that is the Finnish government, were tied to the planning of the current social security reform. The call was very specific about focusing in, um, on particular um, social benefits, such as social assistance, um, their financing and interconnectedness, and the integration of services and benefits in the social security system more generally. Uh, we ensured um, at the outset that these requirements were incorporated in the research design, and a steering group was set up to monitor the research process. Since this was a small-scale project, lasting only 18 months, we could not rec uh, recruit new members. Instead, we gathered together a group of researchers with expertise in both quantitative and qualitative research methods. The funding was sufficient to cover only our partners in Finland, uh, Denmark and Sweden. The Dutch and UK teams um, had to ra raise their own funding for any new field work. Um, to answer the research questions, we used a combination of methods, including a systematic literature review, a vignette study, um, expert interviews, quantitative analysis of survey data, and micro-simulation modeling. The vignette study was explicitly mentioned in the call for proposals. Um, we chose to include it since we and our partners already had previous experience of using vignettes um, and agreed that it was an appropriate method for our type of study and would raise the academic value of the project. An important lesson that we learned from the Polku project was that in designing and carrying out a small-scale international multidisciplinary project such as this, we had to accept that the expectations of academic institutions are different from those of government departments and that we should be prepared to make good any shortfall in the budget if we wanted to satisfy our academic objectives.